Welcome to the 2020 graduation at Paladin. This year has been an unusual year, but it's a great pleasure that we honor these students that took the time and the effort to attend our school. We thank the students, we thank the parents. I'm Frank Stuckey, I'm the chairman of the board, but more proudly, I'm one of the founders of this school. And this school is without a doubt my passion. These students are our passion. The love that the staff has and shows every day to the students makes me proud. Unusual to have a virtual graduation, folks, but that's the best we could do. And for that, I understand there's some very interesting parts that you'll be able to see. I am honored to deploy, give the diplomas to the individuals, and the state of Minnesota requires that I'm the one that gives you the diploma. So bear with us, enjoy, sit back and enjoy and watch. Now I'm going to introduce you a math teacher that's going to sing America the Beautiful, Mr. John Clockman. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Brandon Waite, and I'm honored to be the executive director at Paladin. And here with you tonight, even though it is at a different graduation ceremony than we have ever done before. To start, I'd like to thank all of you 
for watching this evening. Your support means the world to our students and to our school community. So take a moment to be present, grab some popcorn or your favorite food or drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy our virtual celebration. Today is my favorite day of the school year. This is why we at Paladin do what we do. We pride ourselves in building strong relationships and strong connections, not only with our students, but with each other. It's through these relationships that we support one another through the tough times and celebrate each other through the good times. It's also important that we recognize the staff members who formed profound relationships with our students. I want to take a brief moment to give a shout out to all the Paladin staff, our board members, and community members that supported all of our graduates as they achieved this major accomplishment of receiving their high school diploma. Graduates, this milestone requires resilience and drive, qualities that each of you have shown time and time again. Congratulations. You should be so proud of your accomplishments. Look, I get it. I know a lot of you hoped you'd be able to walk across a stage tonight and celebrate with your family and friends, loved ones, and our amazing teachers. But unfortunately, with everything that's happened in 2020, we don't get to do that tonight, or at least not in person. I know this is likely not the graduation ceremony you had hoped for, or at the beginning of the year. But what I do know is that you will have the stories and memories from your time at Paladin and an experience unlike any other at graduation. This year, you graduated when everyone had to stay home. Speaking of 2020, what a year of adjustments, challenges, and change. I recently heard some people can't wait for the 2020 year to be over, for the year to hurry up and be done with. I have empathy for this feeling, but I disagree. In fact, I like to look at this year as the most important year of our lifetime. So I ask, what will you do with the lessons learned in 2020? Particularly the lessons learned in the last few months, these last few weeks. I agree with many of you that nothing in the last few months has been fair. Not only has our world been turned upside down by a global health pandemic, but we recently experienced the pain and the trauma by a nation witnessing the murder of George Floyd. From this, a door has opened for change, an opportunity for all of us to take note of the injustices of our past and in our present. So the question is, how do we stop the injustices and the inequalities, the pain, the trauma from being a part of our future? What will you do to make a better tomorrow? I will admit it is unfair, a huge challenge. And I wish my generation and I wish the generation before us did better. But I have full confidence in all of you and in your generation with each great challenge presents a great opportunity. It is a great day of hope and change, and you can help us build a better future. A hope of true reform, a demand for social justice and equal rights for a better, more equitable future. One that built bridges, not walls. You are all some of the most important, resilient, inspiring, and hopeful minds of what a better future can be. In addition to all of these challenging times, you are all working towards graduation and you still had to complete algebra too. I ask you to remember the strength in building relationships, the connections you have with one another. Know we are all in this together. We are pallid and strong. So take that shared passion and know what you do matters and what you do counts. I like to believe that we all look back at the year of 2020. Years from now, you will all think of what you learned, not of what you lost. 
And now back to the show. What we have lined up for you tonight is a celebration of you and all the hard work you have put into your high school experience. We have 47 graduates. Tonight, know that you have all earned it. We have performances and speeches from your fellow graduates and our teachers. Lastly, when things get hard, we get stronger. And this year has been no different. 2020 may be the year of the unusual. However, you have proven how resilient you are, your ability to overcome adversity, and your ability to pave a path to success. That is who you are, and that is who the graduates of 2020 are. As the executive director of Paladin, I want you to know how deeply proud I am of each and every one of you. And on behalf of the Paladin community, congratulations. And now, our first student speaker, Paladin graduate, Carlos Rodriguez. Class of 2020, Paladin, Career Tech, this is my grad speech. It was the summer of 2017, two weeks before school started up again, and I found out I was switching schools from St. Anthony to Paladin. I was not included in the decision-making process, which is what frustrated me the most. To be honest, if it was up to me, I probably would have chose to stay at St. Anthony, which probably would have been the not the best decision for me as I probably would have fell behind even more. I was also mad because I was planning on making a comeback and making up the ground that I had lost from the previous two years as a freshman and a sophomore. I was upset because I wasn't going to be going to school with the people I've known since middle and elementary school. Little did I know that the decision to come to Paladin was probably the best and most important decision for me in recent years. At St. Anthony, I didn't talk to very many people during school hours. I was behind, which led me to be in freshman classes as a sophomore, and I wasn't close to anyone in the grade below me, which led me to being quiet during those hours. And in the classes where I was with my grade level, I still didn't have my close friends in those classes. When the 2017 school year started and I attended my first day at Paladin, in the first hour on orientation day, I was very quiet. I was in a new place with new faces and I was incredibly nervous. I was sure it would take me weeks at least to make new friends there. But oh how wrong I was. Later that day it was announced that we'd be doing a group project and I was asked to join the group of kids sitting next to me. Little did I know that they'd become my best friends for the rest of my high school career. Throughout the next three years I continued to meet staff and students alike would help me discover more about myself, along with making unforgettable memories along the way. I've done things with this school that I've never thought I'd see myself doing, from taking part in an improv class with Caitlin to going on numerous camping trips with Chad, Tyler, and EJ. I couldn't have asked for anyone better to show me what's beyond the tree lines of the great outdoors than those three. I've made memories on those camping trips that I'll never forget and seen amazing sights that I hope to see again someday. There's no greater feeling than spending time with friends in the amazing gift that is Mother Nature. And without Paladin, I'm afraid I never would have experienced that. If you ever have the opportunity to go on a camping trip or just be outdoors in general, do it. These guys aren't only uh, for taking you on trips though, but they are also great teachers, giving great advice and guiding the ones who need it. They can also be a cool couple of guys if you play your cards right. Let me take a second here to give a big old fat shout out to Caitlin. She is one of the kindest and strongest souls we will ever meet on this planet, seriously. She has made such an impact on my life and continues to be one of my biggest inspirations to this day. Compassionate, generous, and bright from spending time in her classes and having many meaningful one-on-one -on -one conversations with her. I've learned that compassion and empathy are two very strong traits that not only I have, but are just two great traits to have in general. With the discovery of these traits in myself also came the realization that maybe I care just a little too much about others. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but... And I sometimes didn't care enough about myself. This year I started... or the 2017 school year is when I started putting my own needs first and instead of putting myself at a disadvantage for others. I'm doing what I can to take time for myself. I've learned 
Also, another very valuable lesson while at Paladin. It's not worth worrying about what others think about you. It's not worth the anxiety. Let people think what they want to think about you because the only person who knows the real you is you. Everyone is on their own path. So why waste time trying to get others approval when you could be working on yourself and getting yourself to where you need to be? Long story short, Paladin really opened my eyes on how to personally be happy and successful in the long run. These are very important things that not everyone can figure out on their own. Sometimes just the smallest nudge in the right direction can send someone flying down the track of success. I am very thankful I got the chance to attend this school. It is a hidden gem in the corner of the North Town Mall. This school has the most caring staff, I think, out of any school, and I love it for that. So to all my friends and classmates of 2020, I say, thank you. Thank you for some of the best years of my life so far. May some of our paths cross again someday. To my fellow grads, we did it. Four or possibly more, in some cases, years later, we did it. I'm sure you will all do great things in whatever paths you choose to go down. And for aspiring grads, keep working hard. Do not stop the grind. It's worth it in the end. It feels like such a heavy weight lifted off your shoulders. And there's not many other feelings that can beat it. Stay motivated, ask questions if you have to, and get it done now rather than later. That's it. I'm out. Peace. The Phoenix Fund has generously donated $1,500 to Paladin graduates, and we have two winners that I'd like to announce today, Alexander Bruski and Mackenzie Fodness. Mackenzie will be studying at Anoka Ramsey Community College, where she'll be majoring in writing. Alexander Bruski will be studying at Minnesota State University Moorhead, majoring in computer science. Congratulations, and on behalf of Paladin and the Phoenix Fund, we wish you both all the best. Hello. For those of you watching who may not know me, I am Alexander Brusky, a graduating senior at Calvin Curry Technical High School. I have spent all four of my high school years at Paladin, and if I could turn back time and choose a different school, I wouldn't. Paladin and all of the staff and students there have helped me grow into the person who I am today, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I would like to specifically thank Brett and Adam for being there and guiding me so much through my journey at Paladin and really helping me be comfortable with the person who I am. When I first came to Paladin, I was very full of myself. I didn't really understand humor. I had no idea what I was going into. And I was rather standoffish, if I remember correctly. Since then, I have had so many people both uh, from the staff at Paladin and from the students who I met there help me grow and change throughout these past four years. While preparing for this video, I had to ask the people who were close to me what they saw in me change since I first joined Paladin. And for all of them, uh, some of the most common things I heard were that I have gained leadership skills, I have grown more confident, more competent, and more respectful. And a change I have seen in myself in no small part, thanks to Brett, my success coordinator, is a greater appreciation for and ability to detect sarcasm. 
Something that I will always cherish. Thank you. But what I o I've also heard from my wonderful and esteemed parents is that I haven't exactly changed since coming to Paladin four years ago. It's more that Paladin has helped me grow. There was still so much for me to learn throughout the time that I would be at Paladin, um, both academically and emotionally. And even a little bit that I needed to learn about myself, I'd say. The reason why I say I think I've more grown instead of changed is because I'm still in large part the same person I was, just with a few small modifications to the way I act and the way I see the world. Change and growth for the better are things that we should all try and do. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great summer and good luck in the following year. Wish you all good health. Bye. Some of you here know me. Some of you may not, but I'm Kenzie. I've been at Paladin for about two years now. I never thought I would be standing here one day receiving a diploma. Paladin truly changed my life. I will forever be in gratitude. My education journey was tumultuous to say the least. I struggled the majority of my teenage years with a life-threatening eating disorder, as well as PTSD and other mental health issues, which made learning very challenging because my mind was so busy fighting everything in my head that there wasn't much time or space left over to focus on school. As a teenager, I honestly didn't believe I would live to be 18 years old. I was not able to see a future that involved me, especially not one where I was happy and successful in anything. I essentially spent my entire teenage years in and out of treatment, usually residentials all around the country. I ended up giving up and just dropping out of school at 17. I thought it was completely impossible to graduate and go to college for me. At 18, I decided to recover for real. I still struggled seeing myself in a good light and not thinking of myself negatively, but I chose to focus on my goals to push me forward. My eating disorder took my health, but it also took away all the things I ever wanted my life to be and all the things I ever wanted to do. I was watching my life pass me by from the window of hospital rooms. Enough was enough. I wanted my life back. I knew the first step to reaching all my future goals was going back to school and getting a diploma. Most people told me just to get my GED, that it would be easier and quicker, that it would be highly unlikely I could make up all the credits I missed in enough time to be allowed to get a diploma. I didn't let them stop me. I started going to school at Paladin last year. I had just turned 19. I never expected to love a school so much. I went through ups and downs throughout the two years I attended, but I always had the never ending support of staff. They saw potential in me and were set on making me be able to see that in myself too. I have never attended a school in which teachers actually cared about who I was and what I dealt with in my daily life. They were always there to be a shoulder for me to cry on help me find coping skills to work through whatever mental health issue was flaring up and tell me I was worth it. It was probably the first time I really felt valued, especially by authoritative figures. I was able to break my streak of isolation and make healthy friends that also supported me in achieving my long-term goals. My grades went up as well as my confidence. The change was gradual at first, but before long, everyone around me could see it. I was smiling more. I was able to properly advocate for myself and I was enjoying life again, figuring out who I really was. For the longest time, I identified as just my mental illnesses. I lost me. I lost what my morals were, values, and goals. But Paladin helped my spark for life return. I made such strong connections with staff, they almost felt like family. School became a safe place for me. I was also able to get information about the actual logistics of attaining a job as a journalist and information about colleges. Frankly, I don't know who I'd be or where I'd be without Paladin. Sometimes thinking and looking back at who I was before, I barely recognized myself. I was just surviving through every day. I wasn't really living, let alone enjoying my life. Now I have been open to all of the possibilities of my future. I firmly believe that I'm a good person and I have things of value to offer to the world. 
Paladin has been the most transformative experience of my entire life. I'm able to see myself with value. And for any students who are struggling to have faith in themselves, know if you focused on your goals and use all the support you have available to you, you can achieve all of your dreams. This is just the beginning of your journey. Thank you. And now, an original piece written and performed by the one and only student success coordinator, specialized case manager, and D&D &D guru, Brett Runney.
And now, presenting the names of our graduates, the voice of Chad Nelson, Dina students, trips and treks enthusiast, the man, beast by Chad, Chad Nelson, take it away. Mohammed Abdul Azim. Congratulations, sir. I'm so very proud of what you have accomplished this year. You may have had to deal with me and several other staff on my asking, of course, yelling at you on a pretty much daily basis to get to work, to go to class, to do what you need to get done. But hey, it worked. You made it. You crossed the finish line and you accomplished a very huge goal. Graduating in the year 2020, when we had to do distance learning, when you had to deal with me consistently texting you and asking you to meet, to make sure we got our math done, to make sure we got everything else done. As you leave Paladin, I want you to know that I want you to remember everything that you've done here, what you mean to our Paladin family. Congratulations again. I am very proud of you. Hamadou Adim. To my dearest Hamadou, when I think of you, I think real dedication. When you first started with me at Paladin, which was last year, you rarely came to school. I think you came like once or twice a month. And at one point, I almost forgot that you were even on my success team. I just remember asking all your friends, like, where's Hamadou? Like, why does he have to come to school? Like, is he even okay? And the days that you did come to school, you did the bare minimum. You would do a little bit of your work and then you would get really distracted and you would start talking to your friends and then you would start singing to me. It was just really weird. Um, and that really did take a toll on your credits because this year, as a senior, you still had 14.45 credits, which was sophomore credits. I think you were really afraid that you weren't going to graduate this year. So you would always ask the question, Christine, am I going to graduate? Am I going to make it? I always reply back, keep working hard. You have to put the work in. So this year you turned your whole school life around. You actually came to school more often than you did so last year. When you didn't come to school, you would actually text me first. You powered through projects after projects, classroom or classwork and assignments. And I know you hated math, but you did a little bit of math worksheets little by little every single day. And Hamadou, I am so happy to say that you are a high school graduate. I am extremely proud of you. I'm really going to miss the days telling you to get out of my chair in the morning or yelling at you to get off your phone and go back to class. Hamadou, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your high school journey. And I haven't told you enough, I'm just really proud of you. Um, so good luck to you, and I just wish you nothing but the best when you start at Newgate School in September. Yamuna Adakari. Muna, I don't know if you know this, but you have spent almost two years with me on my team, and you were one of the first students that I decided to switch from another team to my team. Uh, sorry about that, Tyler Pills. Um, and you have grown so much since you came to my team and so much um, since 10th grade that it has been phenomenal. I am so proud of you and how far you have come. You started about a year and a half behind and you came up to be almost a year and a half ahead in a matter of like six months. Uh, you have been fantastic. I love your passion for social justice and I know that you were gonna go on and do great things. Don't worry about right now, you'll figure it out. Everyone's in the same place. Remember that you are strong and passionate and that I know you can do it. We are always here for you and we always love you. Congratulations, Muna. Ahmed Al Jamali. Ahmed, I want you to know how much we have enjoyed having you as a student at Paladin. Every time you came to school, you brought a big smile and so much love and so much joy and light with you. And you were such a positive presence at our school. So thank you for that. 
The other thing that I think about when I think about you is loyalty. I know you had a great desire to move to Florida and become an airline mechanic, but you are loyal to your family and to your commitments and there's great honor in that. And so I want you to know that as you stay here in Minnesota to pursue your dream of being an airline mechanic, that we send our love and our best wishes with you and we know that you will do great things. So thank you for being such a great student. We love you and we wish you the best. Taylor Anderson. Congratulations. I am so very proud of you. You've accomplished a lot in the few years you have been at Halliday. You've grown to be a wonderful young person. You have impacted me and others around you. You are doing great things. You will do great things. You're moving on to bigger and better things. You're going to change the world. You are going to impact it in ways I can't imagine. I'm excited for you. But most of all, I am so, so very, very proud of you. Congratulations on this very awesome accomplishment. You deserve everything. Latrice Banks. Congrats, Tracy. I remember being a brand new teacher and you a brand new student. We stuck like glue. I'm going to miss you as my teaching assistant, my BFF, and my desk keeper. I am so thankful for our time together, getting to know you and your precious soul. I can't wait to see where life takes you. Know that I'm always in your corner, rooting you on for your next accomplishment. I am so proud of you. There are many times where you could have decided to give up, many days where you just need a little extra push. You showed some serious perseverance and tenacity getting to this point, and I hope you give yourself some serious love for this accomplishment. I hope you know that life can be whatever you make it, and I want all the happiness in the world for you because that's truly what you deserve. Remember to keep being you, your genuine and authentic self. That is the best you. I'm going to miss you so much. I love you, and I'm always here for you. Congratulations, Tracy. Aaron Barnett. Aaron Barnett, I feel so fortunate to have gotten to know you this year and for you to have been on my success team. We all fill our roles at Paladin and whether or not you knew it, you kind of stepped into this like cool, quiet, older brother role, you know, like giving me sass, but not really letting anybody else give me too much sass offering some sage advice to our younger team members. It's gonna be really strange to not have you around next year. Something that I'll miss the most probably is your sense of skepticism. You always challenge me. And although I may not always appreciate it, you've helped me to see multiple perspectives in a couple of scenarios. And that's, that's a gift. That's something really valuable that you bring to the table. You've worked so hard this year and I am so unbelievably proud of you. I can't wait to see what you do next. And I, I know for sure that you will be successful. Congratulations, Aaron. I'm so proud of you. Justine Bastier. Congratulations, Justine. You are one of the most resilient people I know. During your high school years, you have faced challenges that most people will never have to face. And you have conquered them with grace and determination. You know that you can do hard things because you have lived that. Your experiences have taught you that when you get knocked down, you will be even stronger when you rise up and that you can survive things that are unexpected. So honor all of that resilience by being patient with yourself, kind to others, and embracing this crazy thing called life that you get to live and enjoy.
and make the most of every single day. You can do absolutely anything you dream, Justine. So go get it. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. Bethlehem Bellafuel. Bethy, when I think about you, I am just in awe of your determination. You do not let anything defeat you. You are strong and creative, wise and fierce. Think of all of the things that you've gone through to get to this point right now. You should be really, really proud of yourself. I know that you're independent and able to do anything on your own, but remember that there are so many people around you that love you. So open yourself up to them. Don't be afraid to get close to your community. And also remember to listen to that little voice inside of you because she will guide you every time. You are so ready to be done with high school. So go get it. Dream big, you can do this. I have every confidence in you. Congratulations. You deserve all the best. Zoe Boswell. Zoe, you are one of the sweetest people I've met. You have such a big heart and it shows every time you speak. You have so much drive. You, you decided to do this and you did. You're capable of anything that you decide to do. The future is yours. I have no doubt in my mind that you will accomplish anything you desire, and I am so proud of you, Zoe. Alexander Brusky. Four years ago, Tana came to me and said, Brett, there's a student in my acceleration class that would be a perfect fit on your success team. And then I met Alexander Brusky, who was the perfect fit on my success team. Alexander, it is extremely difficult to say goodbye to you, but it is very easy to let you know that it's been my honor and privilege and pleasure to work with you and your family over the past four years. I wish you all the best in college and I hope that you'll remember to have fun because college is fun. And uh, I'd like to thank, thank you for all that you brought to our school, all that you brought to my success team and things you've done here are going to stay here long after you have moved on and I appreciate that and I just want to say that I'm pretty sure one day you're going to be on Jeopardy and say I would like things only I know for 400 please Alex all the best Arion Burks hey Arion I'm really glad that I got to know you a little bit better this year I learned a lot I learned that you are a great artist both painting and in drawing but I also learned that you had a crazy rough past, but your past does not define you. It just shapes who you are and you became a strong young man you are today. But overall, I'm just really proud of you, especially in your academics. This year, you started off with 11 credits and you won the battle against free choice and in math. Remember in February or in March, you finished six whole units of math, six whole units. That was such a big achievement and I am never going to forget that. You also had the biggest turnaround during distance learning. You kind of disappeared for a little bit and scared me and some of the people around us, but I'm really glad that you were able to clear your mind because it kind of lets you know what you wanted to do after high school or what you wanted to know to do for the future. You really knew how to push my buttons you were a pain in my bum and we had a few words, but I'm just glad that we passed it. It was all tough love and that we did it. You did it and you did it for your mom. Ariane, I'm going to miss that weird laugh of yours and you just randomly wrapping lines out of nowhere. Good luck to all your future endeavors with the fire and the grit that you have. You're gonna overcome anything. Good luck. Victor Bustamani, a.k.a. Sasgadi. Victor Bustamante, a.k.a. Sasgadi. You have grown so much as a person over time here, Paladin. 
it is a privilege to get to know you through video games 2k of course projects and of course your music i was at one of your very first concerts outside of paladin and i was very very proud that day i was also very honored to be there for you to invite me you better invite me tomorrow however though i was proud that day i am more proud today i am so very thankful to have met you to have gotten to know you and i'm just extremely happy today you did it congratulations and when you make it big whether it's through your music or through helping others because i know you can don't forget us little people here at paladin come by and visit congratulations you will be missed good luck in everything you do Nevea castleman have you ever met someone where in the first minute of talking with them you just knew this is this is someone i can trust and someone that i'm going to learn from i can't speak for Nevea, but that is exactly how I felt. Nevea is a strong young woman who leads through her actions. Anytime at school I went to go find her, she wasn't sitting on her phone, she was busy getting her assignments done. And when I couldn't find her at school, it was because she was busy working. Her dedication to her family and herself is truly inspiring. She never shies away from being who she truly is. Nevea. I have loved getting to know you this last year and watching you overcome any obstacle that got in your way. You did not let them stop you. I'm wishing you the best of luck at St. Paul College. With your work ethic, I would not be surprised if you graduate early. Keep being a rock star, girl. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Sheridan Christensen. Sheridan, I know when you came, you were unsure what you want to do, but you knew you wanted to graduate. And look at these past two years that you've been here at with us at Paladin. You have done some fantastic things. You stuck in there and you raised the most beautiful baby boy all the while and then are now graduating. I am so proud of you for how far you've come, how much you've grown, and that you kind of know now what you want to do in life. I am so proud of you. I'm glad that you're going to be going to Noka Ramsey and then transferring to be a NICU nurse. You are going to be the greatest at it. Uh, I love your smile and I know that you're going to be doing great things. Congratulations on graduating this year, Sheridan. You have earned it. Ariana Doyle. Ari, I'm so proud of you. You decided you wanted this and you did it. Your creative creativity is so unique. You have your own way of doing things and it always works. Your drive and hard work is inspiring. You're one of the hardest workers I know. There is nothing that stops you. When you make a decision, you go all the way. I cannot wait to see all that you accomplish. Congratulations, Ari, I'm so proud of you. Sky Fame. Hey Sky, do you have a minute? I really need to talk to you. I really need to tell you that you are the most selfless person I know. You always make sure everyone else is okay before yourself. It's time for you. It's time for you to use those advocacy skills for yourself and follow your heart wherever it takes you. You are capable. You are worthy. You are bound for something great. I know you're busy, but I one more thing to tell you. You are loved by so many people. And, and one more thing, I'm one of them. Congratulations. Crystal Fisher. Girl, you came back out of nowhere and kicked some serious butt. I know that you must have had moments that you told yourself you couldn't do it. Life kept throwing jabs at you. All these challenges didn't hold you back. They fueled you. 
and you will continue to not only survive, but you will thrive. You are a strong woman. Use that power you hold within to create the future that you want and create happiness. I love you. Congratulations. Mackenzie Fodness. To feel is to live. I have never known someone to feel so much. So much emotion, so much pain, so much joy. You are who you are despite of the pain. You are courageous, you are wise, you are intuitive. I hope you allow that brave intuition to lead you. Feel life, open your arms and embrace life. But you can't do that from your living room. Promise me you will go to all the places in the world you want to see. Feel those places. Write about them, live them, love them. I love you, congratulations. Dion Griffin. Hey Dion, congratulations again on finishing up your credit so quickly this past December. It's been a while since we last seen you, so I hope all is well. We are so proud of you and your willingness to push through a difficult time, especially with math. To reach your goals. Your struggles with math actually made me realize that I needed to do better when it comes to teaching students how to do math rather than just saying go to the Johns for help. So because of you I relearned math all over again so I can help many more students in the school. In the past I do remember that you definitely tested my patience, but you just simply wanted to get out of high school and reach whatever goals that you wanted to do. I'm not entirely sure what you are doing now or what you'll be doing next, but anywhere you go, that place will be very lucky to have a hardworking man just like you. Good luck to all your endeavors, Dion. Alan Hackett. Colin, when you first started here at Paladin, you were really quiet, but you were working really hard on your projects and your math. I do remember sometimes you left early and you never told me, which was really annoying. This year, not much has changed. You are still working really hard on your math and other remaining credits that you had, but what was different this year was that you were working three jobs to support yourself while judging the responsibilities of a high school student. And because you were working three jobs this year, it was such a huge struggle getting you to come to school. I know a lot has happened to you in the last few years, but in the end, I am so glad that you finished up all your credits, finished up all your math, and you are a high school graduate. It's better late than never, right? Good luck to you at Anoka Ramsey next year. Remember to stay out of trouble. Remember to practice good time management, and remember to have a clear goal in mind. You will be an app developer in no time. Amaya Hall. Oh my goodness, Amaya. When I think of you, dedication and diligence comes to my mind. You came to school and you did not mess around one bit. You had this clear goal in your mind to finish high school on time in this year. You did not let anyone or anything stand in your way, and you definitely got what you deserved. I am so proud of you. Congratulations. I'm pretty sure many of the staff and I can agree we just did not get enough time with you. I'm going to miss you yelling my name before giving me a hug or even asking me how I'm doing. You're one of the very few students who will ask me, what am I going to cook for dinner tonight? Or what I will be eating later? The video conversations that we had together will be forever cherished. Teaching you how to do math during distance learning was probably the most frustrating, hardest, funniest thing ever because we were just staying up really late doing this math together or getting up really early. But when John finally put in that last bit of credit, we were both screaming of joy. I was just so happy for you. Derek and I are proud of all the hard work that you put into Paladin this year. 
Good luck to all your endeavors and good luck to all of your classes that you take at Anoka Ramsey next year. You are going to be missed a lot. Steven Hayes, otherwise known as Big Slim. Hey Steven, congratulations. Well, you may have taken longer than to get here than we originally thought. You still finished. You still accomplished this awesome goal. You are one of the kindest and most sincere young men I've ever had the privilege of knowing. Your attitude at our school reflected great leadership for our students and staff to follow. And guess what? They did. They listened to you. They did what they could to follow your direction. Now, whatever you do next, it's going to be great. I want you to know how proud I am of you how excited I am for you. And most of all, how happy I am that today you get to graduate and you finished, you crossed the finish line. Whatever you do next is awesome. No matter what, it's going to be a great choice for you because it is your choice. You're gonna do great things. Good luck in everything you do and have fun. Aiden Holton. Aiden came to us when we all needed her. She is such a joy to be around and she made friends at Paladin immediately. She has one of the most angelic voices I've ever heard and I know I'm going to miss her infectious laugh. Though her time with us was so short, it was most certainly sweet. Thank you, Aiden for letting us be a part of your story. We are so proud of you. Cassidy Herbeck. Cassidy Herbeck, one minute is not nearly enough time to tell you about the kind of student and person that Cassidy is. Every year at Paladin, we have tons of great students. Some excel with academic content and others with their personality and character. Let me tell you that Cassidy is at the top of the list for both. We will miss you, Cassidy. Thank you for being part of Paladin. Thank you for being responsible, honest, and kind. Thank you for being as passionate, empathetic, and genuine as you are as a person. And with all these qualities, I know you can achieve any goal that you set your mind to. Best wishes on whatever path you choose. Desiree Hutchins. Desiree, I am so proud of you. You have grown so much this year, even though there were some tough circumstances. You are a strong, independent woman, and you have raised your daughter in the best way possible. You have made it. You are a graduate now at Padding Career Tech. I wish you all the best of luck in nursing and whatever you put your mind to. You can do this. You are worth it. I love you. We're going to miss you. Congratulations once more, and we hope to see you soon. Kimar Jones. Dear Kimar, congratulations on your graduation. I think it is safe to say that your last year of high school was nothing short of an adventure. And I am so grateful that I got to accompany you and annoy you along the way. I am so very proud of you. You're such a strong, resilient, and gifted young man, and your journey of growth over the past eight months since you came to Paladin is nothing short of impressive. You had to adjust, adapt, and navigate many academic and personal challenges, but you never lost your compass. Your ability to focus and learn, as well as your determination and self-advocacy will serve you well as you venture into your future. So as you know, in my world, a celebration is nothing without a cake. And this time around, I had to bake up a different kind of cake for you. But unlike the chocolate cake I baked for your birthday, um, this one 
this layer cake I baked for you uh, will keep longer. So, for your journey ahead, dear Kimar, I wish you the following three companions. I wish you a layer of joy so you can celebrate your life. I wish you a layer of hope so you can trust life. And I wish you a layer of courage so you can live the life that you want for yourself. The very best to your dear Kimar, you are so wonderful. Maya Kirchhoff. Hi Maya, congratulations, the day is finally here. You are a graduate of Paladin Career in Tech. I know it's been a long time coming and it hasn't always been the easiest, but I know you have grown so much this year and have finally figured out what you want to do. It may not always feel like you figured it out, and it may change, but that's okay. I know whatever you choose to do, you're going to be great at it. Keep your fierce passion and loyalty for friends, and I always, always am here for you if you need me. You will always be a paladin knight, and just remember we're here. Please come visit. We know you will, um, but congratulations. You have done it. Fantastic job. Alexis Coquette. Alexis, it is almost not fair that we only had this one year to connect. I'm just so sad that you're leaving us already. I just wish that you can stay at Palin a little bit longer. But within this one year, I learned that you have such a beautiful heart and that you're really funny. I'm just so thankful that I was able to be your success coordinator and that you trusted me throughout this time. I'm never going to forget our conversations that we had academically and not academically. I'm pretty sure you remember this, but in the beginning of the school year, you kind of went through a dark and rough time and that you just stopped coming to school completely. I was just really afraid that you would fall flat face off of planet Earth, so I emailed your mom. Shout out to Amber for helping me get Alexis through during that time. But once that whole thing was over, Alexis, you came to school you did all your work, you did all your projects, and math was the biggest hoop that we leaped through together. And then once that credit was entered, it was just a big relief on both of our shoulders and that we were able to move on other things. Alexis, I'm just really proud of all the accomplishments that you did at Paladin, and I'm just super excited for you to start the next chapter of your life, going to St. Paul College and becoming an esthetician. Please do not be afraid to reach out to me whether it's academic or emotionally. I am here for you. I'm going to miss you. Alexander Larson. Alex Larson, woohoo, congratulations. You did it. You did not have far to go when you got here. Only a few credits. And you took your time because you needed to. You needed to learn more about yourself and you needed to grow. You built friendships. And you, and you did grow. Thank you for showing us yourself when you came on our trip, even though it's a surprise that you were on our team and you and to some of our students, but you really showed who you are. You're a great young man. You're bright, kind, and caring. It was awesome to see you grow this year. Awesome to see you as a person. You will do great things in the years to come. Thank you for letting us just be a part of your journey. Congratulations, proud of you. Good luck in everything you do. Chrisaya Lindsay. Chrisaya, you are one of the hardest working people I know. When you decide to do something, nothing stops you. Your commitment to success is truly inspirational. You amaze me when you get that drive. The passion you put into everything you do is something that you should be proud of. I'm going to miss you so much, but I'm so excited to see what you do in the future. I'm so proud of you, Chrisaya. Congratulations. Tori Lizziness. Oh, my Tori. I have loved spending time with you this year. Jake and I will definitely miss saying Tori math next year. And I know our little table will never be the same. I've watched you grow so much this year. Know that just because your time in high school has come to an end, you don't ever have to stop learning. 
You are such a kind and giving soul and I know you'll find a way to help so many people as you make your way through life. The great author and poet Maya Angelou once said, the quality of strength lined with tenderness is an unbeatable combination. Tori, you are strength, tenderness, and you are going to make this world a better place. Yalitza Yaya Laguno. Yaya is a leader. She leads with this beautiful, humble, yet confident strength. She has wisdom far beyond her years, and she truly knows herself well. She has the courage to stand out from a crowd, yet she has the empathy to notice when others need support, and she dives right in. Yaya, I am truly honored to know you. You inspire me. I am so excited for your journey ahead. I know that you'll continue to always be true to yourself and continue on your awesome path. I am so proud of you, Yaya. Nyla Maston. Congratulations, Nyla. I'm very proud of you, hon. You're amazing. No matter what obstacles got in your way, you went through them. No matter what barriers were there, you moved them. I thank you so much for never giving up on yourself. You're positive, you're amazing, and you just keep going. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. I love you. Justin Mori. Justin, you were such a calm, kind presence when you were a student at Paladin. And I just want to thank you for always being positive and helpful and having such a, a, a calm spirit that we could just love to be around. Thanks for riding in the front of the van with me and keeping me company and um, also talking with me about your desire to go into music production. I know you're going to do great in that field, wherever you land and however it looks for your job, because you're so passionate about it. And I know that you are going to do just great things. So thanks for being such a wonderful student. We've really enjoyed getting to know you. Best of luck. Congratulations. Summer's personal flower gardener. Rakisha Props. Keisha, where should I start? All the, the headaches you've caused me or all the laughter you brought to me? Because um, you definitely brought both. Um, we, we definitely had a love-hate relationship, Keisha, and I appreciated um, the love and the hate. It showed me that you trusted me enough to tell me your true feelings on a daily basis um, and that you believed that I would hear you and, and whether it was just to listen or to actually help you solve a problem. And <clears throat> I'm so proud of you for not giving up on this dream of getting a high school diploma. Uh, the, the world needs more people like you, Keisha. You are strong. You don't back down from anything. And I have no doubt in my mind that you will be successful with whatever you choose to do in your future. Um, proud of you. Love you. Dejan Purnell. What to say about Dejan? I have had the privilege of working with Dejan since he was a freshman at Fridley High School. We spent three years together at Fridley, working together, getting to know one another, joking around, and quite frankly, getting on each other's nerves, or me on his nerves because I was always harassing him to do math. Dejan is someone who can always bring a smile to my face no matter what the day has going on. And so when I started at Paladin and saw Dejan for the first time, I think that my cheeks might have ripped from smiling so hard. 
Dejan, you are one of the kindest, caring, strong young men I know. You are always willing to put others' needs in front of yours, whether that be giving a friend a ride to school, sharing your food, or being someone that will listen. I know as you take your steps into the next chapter of life at Anoka Ramsey, you are going to do amazing things. Dejan, I am so proud of you and congratulations. Sarina Rayner. Rupi Kaur once said, you don't wake up and become a butterfly. Growth is a process. And I think that this quote beautifully captures Serena and her high school journey. I had the privilege of knowing Serena prior to Paladin, and I'm so thankful that I did because I've been able to watch her amazing journey of growth. Serena has taken every experience in her life, whether it be positive or negative, and has taken the time to learn from it. I believe from doing this is what has taught her to be the amazing woman she is today. Serena, I am so thrilled for you, and I'm so thrilled for your future. I know you are going to take life anywhere you want it to go. Your ability to create meaningful relationships, your passion for children, and your drive to succeed are gonna take you anywhere you wanna go, girl. I love you so much and I'm so incredibly proud of you. I'm wishing you the best of luck. Carlos C. Money Rodriguez. This is such a truly bittersweet day for me and for Paladin. We've had the great honor of working with Carlos over the past three years and he has given our school so much in that time. He went from a shy guy to a full on goofball He's always willing to help out. He's a great listener and friend to nearly everyone he meets. He is the only student I've ever met that truly laughs at my lame attempts at humor. Carlos, thank you for being unfailingly kind and making our school a place of warmth, humor, and lightheartedness. I know that the future, although it may be murky, will be good to you. Keep exploring and stay curious. Destiny Raleigh. Destiny Raleigh is a woman for the people. If it sounds like I'm working on your campaign slogan, it's because I absolutely am. I have said it before and I will say it again. Destiny for Congress. You, my friend, are a natural born leader. And where you lead others will follow, myself included. You have absolutely killed it this year. And I could not be more proud of you, not only with graduating, but also serving as a Mapstar State Officer, addressing the Commissioner of Education, speaking with our legislators, and collaborating with the Minnesota Teachers Licensing Board to better address the needs of alternative students. All with that destiny charm that I am so sure is going to change the world. Never be afraid to ask for help and know that I am always here for you. I have got your back. Congratulations, Destiny Raleigh, class of 2020. Another one of Summer's personal assistants, Karina Stave. Karina, I'm so proud of you and all you've accomplished. You're going to be missed at Paladin so much. You have a contagious sense of humor that anybody would love to be around. I mean, who's going to tape my computer and desk shut when I'm not looking? But seriously, though, you're capable of anything, anything that you put your mind to. You might not be aware of it yet, but you are a leader. And anything that you do, others are going to follow you. I can't wait to see what you do in the future, Karina. Congratulations. Rochelle Tana. Hey, Rochelle. In the past two years that I have known you, you have such a strong and loving heart. You have gone through so much throughout your time in high school, but your experiences, the positives and the negatives, make you the strong woman you are today. Even though it was such a huge struggle getting you to come to school on time and consistently texting you, where are you at? Are you coming to school today? Get up and come to school. 
or even texting you at nighttime. Make sure you go to bed early. I'll see you in the morning. Somehow we managed to do it. Thank you so much for trusting me and choosing me to be your success coordinator. I will never forget how good of an artist you are or even the poetry you write. I will miss our conversations about whatever comes to mind and even your goofy self. I am so proud of all the accomplishments you have done here at Paladin and I cannot wait to see you accomplish your goals in becoming a baker at St. Paul College and getting your degree in culinary arts. I wish you nothing but the best, good luck, and please do not be afraid to reach out when you need me. I, Anna, I always have a smile on my face, Thomas. I, Anna, when you first started here at Paladin, I really did not think that you were going to do any work. In the past, you fought a lot of people at your school. So I thought that you were going to pop off at any moment at Paladin, which means if you did, you would get sent home and you would be out of the school for a while and just never come back and then you would not do any work. But your history definitely does not define you. You were just so determined last year to bring your credits as low as possible and you just so worked so hard. I've never seen anyone work as hard as you did. Last year, when you seen all those seniors in our group struggle with the math, you did not hesitate one second to start a math worksheet. And all that stuff paid off because this year as a senior, you start off with only three credits. And the original plan for us was to do PSEO at North Hennepin in the spring, but all changed when Rayshawn passed away but I'm pretty sure he's looking down and just really excited for you right now. I am so proud of you and all your accomplishments here at Paladin. I'm proud of your growth and your experiences, the positives and the negatives, and I'm never going to forget Valley Fair. I'm going to miss our conversations and I'm going to miss chasing you around the school with my keys. Good luck to North Hennepin next year. I am here if you ever need me. Danielle Tobias. Dear Danielle, it's such a pleasure for me to be able to say today, congratulations on your graduation. Since we met last November, you have shown so much courage and so much determination, and you never lost sight of your goal to graduate. It was such a great pleasure for me to be able to accompany you along the way, and I will never forget the joy of seeing you tackle the ACT. <laughs> you are a tremendously kind, compassionate, and strong young woman, and I am so happy that you will be able to venture into adulthood and motherhood with your high school diploma in hand. May it always remind you how strong and courageous you are and that you can trust and believe in yourself no matter what will come your way. So I did promise you to make your graduation cake, and I did, even though life made it necessary for me to get a little more creative. But dear Danielle, here it is, your graduation layer cake. Here's to joy, to celebration, and to graduation. I wish you all the very best as you continue on your life's adventure. Jacqueline Torres Valley. Jackie, you have such a big heart and so much kindness to share. When you walk into a room, you bring warmth and a smile always. When you decide to do something, there is nothing that can stop you. You have so much passion and drive. I've enjoyed watching you find that within and pour it on to the world. I cannot wait to hear about all you have accomplished. I am so proud of you, Jackie. Congratulations. Malik Washington. Congratulations to Malik Washington for your graduation from high school. Well done, Malik. We're so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for the accomplishment and the determination and the will to succeed that you've demonstrated so well. You know, I think about the times we spent in the van going to and from school, 
how we talked about life, how we talked about your finishing trades program, and just through the year, how you changed and developed and started to show that determination and that really, I want to succeed attitude that has gotten you here. Well done. Congratulations. You know, also I wanted to say that the leadership you showed in the Algebra 2 class was evident too. And I really see in you a great leader moving forward. Well done, Malik. We're so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And now the declaration of graduation. Please rise. Oh, wait a minute. You don't have to get up. You're not here. As the chairman of the board, it is my responsibility to certify that these students have met all of the requirements necessary set forth by Paladin and the state of Minnesota to be a high school graduate. You may now move your tassels to the left or right, or honestly, hopefully you still even have your cap. Uh, but in all seriousness, we hereby declare the class of 2020 to be graduates of Paladin Career and Technical High School. Congratulations, folks. Cheers, gang. It's not goodbye. It's see you later. Take care. We love you. Congratulations. I'm so very proud of you. You are love, and I love you. Love you, Paladin Class of 2020. Have a great life, everybody. Best always. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Sky's the limit. Keep on dreaming. Dream big. Bye. Have a great summer. You deserve it. Congratulations, graduates. Woo! Hey, Paladin Class of 2020! Happy graduation. Have a wonderful summer, everybody. Congratulations to all the graduates. Best wishes, Class of 2020. I know you can accomplish whatever you endeavor. Congrats, 2020 grads. Always remember what Yogi Berra said. When you get to the fork in the road, take it. I can do this, y'all can do anything. Love you. Goodbye, everyone. We love you, we miss you, and we'll see you next year. I am so very, very proud of all of you. Congratulations. The class of 2020, congratulations. Can't wait to see you make some big changes. Stand tall, be brave. Bye! I love you! Congratulations! Bye! Love you! Until we meet again! I'd like to say congratulations to all you 2020 graduates. I miss you all and have a safe summer. Goodbye and I love you to the class of 2020. I hope you guys all remember that it's okay to cry. I got a message for all my pal and the family. Even though you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, you can conquer it. You can do anything. You can get through this. I believe in you. Have a great summer. Glückwunsch and congratulations. Congrats and come visit. Paladin, class of 2020. I salute you guys. Congratulations. Hi, Paladin grads. So proud of you. Your future is bright. Come back and visit us. Bye, everyone. I love you. Stay safe and do great things. Congratulations, class of 2020. Proud of you. You guys did it. Way to go. Keep fighting. Let's go. Love you. We're out. Class of 2020, you did it. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, I'm gonna miss you and I love you. Congratulations, class of 2020, you made it. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> I hereby declare this most paladin. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs>